RFP for the hazard mitigation plan update. Mr. Dye. Okay. And one last thing, the um, uh, earlier th earlier this year we were awarded a um, hazard mitigation assistance planning grant. Um, the purpose of that grant was to um, allow us to hire a contractor to help us perform the update to our hazard mitigation plan. We're required to update that every five years. Um, so it's due by 2017, but because it is kind of a lengthy process to gather all the data and then for them to actually put, put all that into a, a uh, format that we can send to uh, GEMA and FEMA and get approved, we're going to, we need to start working on that now. Um, so we, we sent out a, a request for proposal. Um, we got two back from, from uh, two firms, that, the ones listed here, Michael Baker International and Atkins North America. But the regional commission also indicated that they had an interest in performing that, and just because of their, um, you know, the way they're they're governed, um, they don't fall under the RFP process. So um, you have the two propo two proposals there, and um, also have a, a draft um, agreement from the regional commission um, for them to perform the service in the amount of twenty thousand uh, dollars, and so it's it's our recommendation. Um, that we we would like to work with a regional commission, and so we would need to reject both of the proposals that were received through the RFP process, and then authorize um, the chairman to enter into an agreement with the regional commission. But I'd be glad to answer any questions you have about that. Any question from Mr. Tap? Uh, actually, just when they say multi-jurisdictional, they're just talking about uh, ten county span and how many counties. No, span? it's it's actually just Lowndes County, but it's multi-jurisdictional because it's not just. Lowndes County, but it includes all of the cities. So when these meetings begin to take place, you'll have um, staff from the county as well as staff from each of the cities within Lowndes County and other stakeholders like Georgia Power, um, the school systems, VSU, all those people that we normally routinely deal with. Um, but it's multi-jurisdictional because each, once we get a draft plan and it's approved by FEMA, then each local government will be required to adopt that plan um, in order to continue receiving uh, federal funding. All right, thanks. Okay, Mr. Todd, thank you very much. Sir.